You got a phone on you? Come on, man. Right, right. I'm dirty. I'm you got a phone? You got a phone on you? I'm a nerd. Look up Swan. I'm nerd. Just, just like every motherfucker is telling me some shit, right? I ain't shit. Well, she looking it up. She looking up what Swan is. Look it up. Look it up. It's all good. I ain't swear. I ain't worried about that. S W I N E. Must be Swine. a white boy. Must be a white boy. Must be a white boy. Swan. Right. and drug him down the damn street on a horse carriage. These people, this man, the same man, he put his, his damn foot on George Floyd's neck and said, guess what? I ain't do nothing. I ain't did nothing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they sold you. They sold you, sister. They sold you, brother. They raped your mom. These so-called white people. The people that kill for nothing. They raped for nothing. They don't care if you're a, a, a elder woman, a elder, a elder man, a young woman, a young man. They don't care if you're an infant, right? They will rape you. They'll kill you. They'll sell you off to another damn state. And they won't give a damn about you. They'll lock you up and throw away the damn key. And you, why you think so many of our so-called sisters and our men is out here missing and nobody finding them? Where are they going? Know where they going? They getting killed. And they selling their organs on the damn dark web. That's what's happening, man. Right? He said, there you gonna be sold for your enemies for slave man and slave woman, read. And no man shall buy you. And nobody's gonna be able to redeem you. Didn't y'all heard about Martin Luther King? What'd he say? Didn't did Martin Luther King try to get us out of this? What about Malcolm X? Did he try to get us out of this? Didn't, didn't Rosa Parks sit on the hey, sit on the front of the bus to revolt? Cause she got tired of the oppression, right? Didn't that happen? Marcus Garvey tried to tell us, hey, put us on a boat so we could guess what? So we could uh, go back to our go back to our homeland. See now, let me say something, sister, brother. You know what I'm saying? Look, Moses was speaking to the Israelites. If all of these things apply to us to this day, who would that make us today if Moses said this back then? Who would that make us today? The people back then Moses spoke to was Israelites. But aren't we going through these things today? So if Moses prophesied that over two millennia, three millennia ago, that this would happen to your descendants, would that make us black people? Or would that make us Israelites? Who would that make us? If our people went through being sold on, off of slave ships, Moses said, hey, guess what? You're going to go into captivity on slave ships. If our people got sold to our enemies, Moses said, you'll be sold to your enemies. He's spoken this to the Israelites. And we going through this today. Who would that make us, sister? Brother, who would that make us? Would that make us blacks? Would that make us Native Americans, Hispanics? Or would that make us Israelites? Who would that make us, sister? You gotta say it. Most definitely. Who would that make us, brother? Would that make us Israelites? Or would that make us blacks here? We Israelites, man. We the Israelites. You gotta, hey, you heard that song back in the day? It said, say it loud. I'm, I'm black and I'm proud. Right. You gotta say it loud. That's right. I'm Israel and I'm proud. God. Right? I'm an Israelite. From what tribe though? What tribe what tribe do your father come from? What tribe your father come from, sister? <laughs> all of these, all of these tribe, all of these names right here, these labels, right, is derogatory names. 
that the that our oppressors has given us, like American, Black, West Indian, Haitians, all these other things, right? But the Lord called us Israelites from these tribes: Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulon, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Issachar, and Naphtali. Right. What tribe would your father come from? What tribe would your father come from? On this side of the board, right here. Judah, Judah. Hey, can I ask y'all a question? What does Christ look like? Yeah, we actually, where that, that photo at? This it? Okay, okay. Who is that? God. Say that's God. Who, who, who you say that is, sister? Who is that? This man right here. Huh? That's Jesus, right? Okay, okay, okay. Now, we about to read in the Bible. Do y'all know what does you think Christ look like this? What you, what you think he look like? What you think he look like, brother? Huh? He look like me. See? What Christ look like, brother? That white man? We got two, we got two different answers, man. Right. So let's see. Let's go to the book of Revelation and start at verse one. It's the book of Revelation, chapter one and verse one. Uh huh. The revelation the of what? the revelation. The revelation is going into revealing, right? Or in the Greek, apocalyptos, right? Go down. Of, of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him to shoot unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So look, this is John the Revelator, a man, a, a disciple of, uh, of Christ, right? They're saying, hey, he was John, and he was in the spirit, right? A spirit, the spirit came over him, and he stayed, and, and, he, and, he, and it showed him the image of of, of Christ, who people ignorantly call. You know, said Christ, whose name is Yahweh Shai, the pale of Hebrew. Bring it up. Verse thirteen. Uh -huh. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, uh -huh. one like unto the Son of Man, uh -huh. clothed with a garment down to the foot. Uh -huh. It said clothed to the, with a garment down to the foot. So John is seeing us this uh, this image of a man, right, with a long garment on down to the foot, because back in the ancient days they didn't wear skinny jeans and and down and down uh bell bottom jeans and crop tops and purses he, they didn't wear that you know what i'm saying they wasn't wearing that stuff back in the day they was wearing mighty garments right long garments down to the foot read and a girt about the paps with a golden girdle he had a warlike girdle on you know what i'm saying to where basically you can't get thrust through with a sword or a spear or nothing like that read his head and his hairs were white like wool what color was his head white like wool Hey, what people got woolly hair? What people, what pe who, who, who has woolly texture hair in the world? We do. We do. Your hair, we, hey, your hair, we consider a woolly texture. Right. Right? You know what I'm saying? It's a little, it's a little bit more finer, but it's woolly. You know what I'm saying? I bet you take, I bet your hair get wet and curl up like a bush, don't it, brother? Yeah. Yeah. You too, sister. Your hair get wet and puff up. Right? What, it said, what color was it? White as wool. So, have you ever seen an old white, uh, an old, an old, uh, 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 so-called black man? Like, uh, like Morgan Freeman. You ever seen Morgan Freeman? He got that, that salt and pepper gray hair like Uncle Ben's. Uncle Ben's rice, they on the box. Right? Hey, bring it up, brother. Ah. His head and his hair were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow. As white as snow, Reed. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Like when you wake up in the morning, brother, sister, don't your eyes be kind of like red from sleep? Eyes be red, right? Red like fire, man. You got fire red eyes. Is this fire red eyes? It's a lot. Is this fire red eyes? Is that woolly hair? Is it white textured? Huh? Is it is it is it woolly? Is it white textured? Is, is it white color? Is it woolly textured? Is that woolly hair? Or oh, that look like down Air Bud? Golden Retriever dog hair. What that look like, sister? What that look like, brother? Does that look like white woolly hair and red eyes? He got blue eyes and blonde. Hey, he got that the wet and wavy from the blue supply store. You got the wet and wavy, man. Right? That's all. Bring it up. And his feet. And his feet. Now let's talk about your feet. 
Like unto fine bread. Like unto fine bread. So now when he saw his feet, if you take off your shoes and your socks, is your feet going to be purple? Huh? Your feet going to be orange? They're going to be white? They might be a little ashy, but they still the same color, right? Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? They still the same color. It's the rest of your skin tone, right? You know what I'm saying? So it said his feet like on some fine brass. Now what's the color of brass? Brown. Huh? Brown. Brown. Brass is brown. When you get that penny from the gas station and it's all dark looking and nasty, you, you probably don't even take it, you just leave it there. You know what I'm saying? But hey, grass was that color. Right. Right? Let's see how dark he was. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. As if what? As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. Right? Now, if you throw anything in a furnace, what color is going to turn? Huh? Black. Get them, get them, you get them daggone, uh, the, uh, the Pillsbury biscuits, you put them in the oven, you leave them in there too long, what's going to happen? They're going to get black, they're going to get burnt. Charcoal. You can't even eat those. You know what I'm saying? They, they black, right? So, let's say he has white woolly, does he have white woolly hair? Does he have fiery red eyes? Does he have a bronze skin so dark that he burned it in the furnace? Does he have that? No. So, somebody's lying. Right. Who's telling the truth, the Bible or this picture? Good question. Who's telling the truth? The what? The Bible. So they're like, your pastors in the churches, in these, these Catholic churches, these Christian churches have this image up. I bet your grandmama, your mama, and your great aunties and stuff, and your, and your granddaddy, they had this. But you know why? They don't read their Bible. You got to read your scriptures, right. right, and believe on Christ as the scriptures have said, ah. right? Because he gave his life for you, for you, right? So that we can have forgiveness of sins, right? And y'all know, and y'all know that we Israelites, right? And what got us here is breaking God's commandments. Do y'all know any commandments? Huh? You don't know no commandments? I don't even know what commandments is. Let's bring it out. Give me the book of, uh, because y'all love God, right? Y'all love God, right? Do you love God? Y'all love God? Well, come and find out how to love God, how to show God love. Uh, I don't know, God. You don't know him? That's an honest answer. Say what? For God? Yeah. See that? All praise to the most side. That's, that's the prophets to do, man. Come to turn the world upside down. The world that you knew, right, is not the world that you're supposed to be in. Right? You got to come back into the world of Israel, man. Right? So you don't know God. Let's find out how you can get to know him. Give me the book of First John chapter 5. And verse number uh verse number three. And give me the book of Deuteronomy, chapter five and verse one. The book of oh, first John. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Two and three. How long was gonna be doing? You said what? How long was gonna be doing? Hey, till you hear the whole conclusion of the matter. I'm trying to go eat. You trying to go eat? <laughs> you trying to go eat too? You trying to go eat? Yes. Man, eat this roll right here, brother. Eat this word. This is food for your spirit. Because you hungry. You don't even say you say you don't even know God. So you I know you starving. Right. I know you. In the spirit, you starving, brother. You don't even know you don't know who you are. You know what I'm saying? You don't know where you from. You don't even know your Lord, your maker, your creator. Right? We trying to show you how to get that back, brother, so you can be filled in the spirit. Right? So you can be full, right? Bring it out. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 4, and verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. You can't live by bread alone, brother. Read. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And his words are his commandments. Right? Because guess what? It's going to be a day where ain't going to be no damn food. You're going to be hungry. Right. It's going to be a day where there's going to be no war. You're going to be thirsty. Right? It's going to be a day we ain't going to be able to go and put no damn fresh shoes on, man. No fresh socks. No soap. Right? It's going to be a day. It's going to be a day that comes. Guess what? You ain't going to hear the words of the Lord no more. Bring it up. The book of Amos, chapter 8, and verse 11. Uh -huh. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, uh -huh. that I will send a famine in the land. I know what a famine is. 
a famine is a, a is a is a is a depletion. I mean, it's no more resources, no food, no soap, no damn tampons, no damn toilet paper, no damn nothing, no electricity, ain't no nothing, man. No more resources. It's gonna be all gone. You ever seen a desert? That's what it's like. You ever seen one of those apocalyptic movies? But they see a we, we, where people just walking through the street trying to scramble for food, scramble for shelter, scramble for batteries so they can have a light and then they can get the then they get the light, then they gotta walk through the damn dark to find a damn on well, then they gotta get the damn filter to go get the damn water out the damn well, and then they gotta purify the water, then they gotta start up. It's too much. Are you ready for those days? Cause these days is coming. A family gonna be in a lane, read. Uh. Not a famine of bread, uh -huh. nor a thirst for wealth. Said that a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. Read. But of hearing the words of the Lord. What a what? But of hearing the words of the Lord. It's going to be a day where guess what? Ain't going to be no time to hear this word no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to hear these words of life. They ain't going to know, right? You know what I'm saying? Hey, who I am, right? Hey, where I come from, right? Well, who's my Lord? Right. Who's going to save me? You ain't going to know that. Because you're so, hey, you want some bread, brother. You want to eat, don't you? You want to eat, don't you? You want to eat bad, don't you? <laughs> nah, you want to eat bad, brother. You want to eat. You want to eat so much you can't even stop moving your feet. Right. Hey, me too. You know what I'm saying? And me too, brother. Sometimes I can't stay still. You know what I'm saying? I can't stay still. But guess what? The spirit keep me calm, bro. Right. Right? Hey, calm. You know what I'm saying? The spirit keep me calm. When I be wanting to move friends, I want to go here. I want to go there. I got to do this, that. I got to wash my clothes. Then I see the trash. Then I got to take out the trash, leave the clothes. Then I got to take out the... Then I see the trash, leave the clothes. You know what I'm saying? Let it down. Let me go uh, take this off the... Then I start doing that. Then I start... Do I get frantic. But guess what? These spirits, the word of the, the spirit of the Lord, keep me calm. It keep me, it keep me focused, right? You know what I'm saying? And this is what you gotta focus on, brother. Because guess what? That food gonna be there, right? That damn, that damn chicken wing that you want, whatever the heck you want. Hey, yeah, uh, that honey hot wing with the fries and the cheese on it. It's gonna be there. Right. It's gonna be there, brother. Hey, but this right here is not gonna be there for long. Right. It's gonna be a day where guess what? You're gonna be looking for those for these brothers on the corner. I say, man, who's they uh they called the uh the damn the star with the eye, the uh them dudes, man, with the things on the bottom of their shirt. Yeah, man. They said it was the white, the uh Usha uh the Usha uh 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 something lights, man. Miller lights. Yeah, the Miller No, we the Israelites. Right. Uh. The Lord's chosen people. Right. Right? Y'all the Israelites. And y'all gotta find out what y'all gotta do, man. You got a point? Yeah, I was gonna say, how old are y'all? 15. Okay, how about you? I'm 22. Is this the first time y'all hearing this? Uh, I haven't seen y'all before. What about you? Yeah. This is the first time. In 15 years, it's your first time hearing this. How often do you eat? <laughs> right. So you're not going to hear this again, man. You're not going to hear this you again. Eat every day. You eat every day. You hey, brother, you ate, when you, you ate when you woke up. You ate before you came here, didn't you? Got another 15 years for you hear this. Come on, man. <laughs> You ain't got another 15 years. You, hey, we, hey, how the world looking right now? We ain't, we, hey, they trying to distract you with Diddy. We ain't, hey, we ain't gonna be here. We ain't got that much time left, man. Right, right. I don't think we got another 15 years. At all. I think as soon as Kamala Harris get that presidential seat in the old office, hey, destruction is happening. She gonna hit the button as soon as she get up in that thing. She gonna slide her over office. Whoop! New America's over. Food over. Everything is done. Right? So get these bread, get this bread of life and find out how to love God and keep his commandments. Bring it up. Uh, first John, first John. John. Nah, and it's the book of first John, chapter two and verse number three. And hereby we do know that we know him. Uh -huh. If we keep his commandments. If we do what? If we keep his commandments. Hey, this is how we know we know God. If you keep his commandments, right? This is how you get to know God, brother. Since you don't know him, this is how you get to know him. Right? By doing what he say. By learning his word. Right? By learning what he told and instructed you to do as a man, as an Israelite man. Right? Right? You know what I'm saying? Because that's your duty. Right. Not to be walking out here aimlessly, doing God knows what, doing this and that, walking to and fro, because you got ADHD. Calm down. Calm down, brother. Don't be frantic. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no jetpack gonna get you to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? It's not. 
by keep, by keeping these commandments rule, brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? Go to the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Now, Joshua 22 and 5. Let's get straight to the point. Book of Joshua. Chapter 22 and verse number 5. Uh, uh, but take diligent heed. But do what? But take diligent heed. Man, you gotta listen close. To do the commandment. To do what? To, to do, do the, the commandment. To do God's word through whose commandments, read. And the law. And the what? And, and the, 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 the law. law. Uh -huh. Which Moses, the servant of the Lord, charged you. Yep. To love the Lord your God. Uh -huh. And to walk in all his ways. Walk in all his ways. And to keep his commandments. To do what? And, and to, to keep, keep his, his commandments. Keep doing what I want. And to keep his commandments. Uh -huh. And to cleave unto him and to serve him. And to what? And, and to serve him uh -huh. with all your heart and with all your soul. With all your heart and all your soul, man. You got to start keeping God's commandments, right? I'm going to teach y'all a few commandments, right? Y'all saying, hey, brother, y'all saying, you ever, ever, you ever wanted to beat your brother up? Huh? Fighting no time, not not your blood, brother. Even your blood, brother, because hey, cause Cain killed his brother. Right. He killed him. Took a rock and hit him in the damn head. And then told the Lord with pride, Am I my brother's keeper? <laughs> Talking about murder. Melly got murder on his mind. Talking about how he killed his best friend. Because he had murder on his mind. You got murder on your mind, brother? Huh? No. All praise to the most high. Thou sayest. Right? Give me that right quick in Leviticus 19 and 17. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Uh, hey, you love your brothers? You love your sisters? All right, right? If we kept this one commandment, this will show how we love our people. Bring it up. I'll start 16. Oh, let's start 16. Huh? Gone. Thou shalt not go up and down as a tail bearer. So what? Shall not go up and down as a tail bearer. Don't. Girl, you heard about such and such and such. Yeah, girl. Wow. And they did this. What? Girl, hey, I got that tea for you, girl. And then you got them dudes pillow talking. Yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> 30 minutes. He ain't even like that for real. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he's sweet for real, for real. Because I remember when we was over there around such and such block, man. Shit. He was scared for real, bro. I can't talk about. He will not try to put no work in. He ain't like, he, like he, me. He, 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 he ain't like me. He can't even protect you, man. That's dirty, man. Over here, over here throwing salt on the brother's name to get his woman. All right. Hey, hey the sister always want to be up in the gossip. Yeah. Want to know the tea. All right? You know what I'm saying? And want to know the breakdown and what somebody else's life is going into. Yeah. Right? Keep reading. So don't go up and down as a tail bearer. Don't be over here pillow talking, trying to get the tea, gossiping. Read. Neither shall thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. Don't stand against the blood of your neighbor. Right? You know what I'm saying? If you see somebody going through, like you see this happening right here. You see this happening. First thing you do, you whip out a damn phone. You see your brother and your sister fighting each other. First thing you do is this. Oh, damn, this shit going on. Hey, it's reels. Damn. Hey. Now you say world star. World star, how they used to say back in the day. World star. Oh. You know what I'm saying? That's all. You, st you standing against the blood of your neighbor, man. Right? Read. Gone. I am the Lord. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother. Thou shalt not what? Thou shalt not hate thy brother uh -huh. in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Hey, correct your brothers. Correct your sisters. Correct your neighbor. Right? Rebuke them. Tell them, hey, the real. Keep it a buck with them. You hear that, brother? You got to keep it a buck with your brothers. You got you to gotta keep it a stack. Keep it a thousand. Keep it 1K, as they say. Right? Right? Correct your brother. Correct your sister, man. Because you love them, right? You want somebody to keep it real with you, don't you? You don't want to, hey, you don't want to, hey, you got a whole mustard stain on your polo. Right? You don't see it. And you going out thinking you stepping out. Thinking you fly. Thinking you got that, uh, that SHIT on, man. Because there's kids out here watching. Then you got, then you got, then you, hey, then you swagged out. But you got a whole mustard stain and your shoes don't match your fit. And they let you step out like that. Come on, hey, bro. You, hey, you, you fly, bro. Say lying to you. Right. What about you, sister? Right? It's that time of the month. And you put your coochie cutters on. And you got a tail hanging from between your legs. And they just let you out there. And you know, they let you out there shake it. It was shake it behind. Shake your nasty booty with that doodle in there. Thank and blood in there, on there. And they just let you be out here drunk. Put that tail dangling between your legs. 
Is that is that love? Is that keeping it a buck with you? No. No. Bring it out. Say now what? Rebuke thy neighbor and and, and not suffer sin upon. Him. And not suffer sin. I know what sin is. What sin? Let's bring it out. Let's see what God says sin is. Go to that right quick. The book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Uh -huh. For sin for what? For sin is the what? Is the transgression of the law. A hey, sin is the transgression, meaning a the breaking of God's law. Now if you don't see if you see something, right, that you that you see in your brother and your sister, right? You gossiping, you tell bearing, right? You're saying, hey, you suffering sin upon your brother if you don't correct that. You wanna know how another way that you could suffer sin upon your brother, sister? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5, whoever got it. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse number 5. The book of Deuteronomy. 22 and 5. Book of Deuteronomy, five. chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What pertains to a man? Hold on, let me finish reading that. Finish reading that. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Uh -huh. For all that do so are an abomination. Uh, what? Are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So what is a what is woman's clothing and what is men's clothing? What is what do women supposed to wear? Dresses, skirts, Dresses, skirts. Heels. heels. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what does what do men post to wear? Jeans. Jeans. T-shirt. T-shirt. Hat. Hat. You know what I'm saying? Cool G nights. You know what I'm saying? J Fezos. You know what I'm saying? So women supposed to wear dresses and skirts. You have on a dress right now, sister. You have on a skirt. You will be suffering sin upon your brother, right? Because when you got your legs out, your thighs out, you tight fitted clothing on, right? You know what I'm saying? Hey, you and you making another man look at you in a way that he shouldn't be looking at you. This your man right here? It's your cousin, something like that? Yes. Okay, okay, I'm gonna pray to the most side. Well, still, you know what I'm saying? You will be making a man, hey, have a, uh, uh, have a, uh, uh, you will be suffering sin upon that man, right? You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? You out here, you're saying walking around looking like that, right? Looking like one of these things out here. You know what I'm saying? And the man looking at you, yeah, I see everything. It's like looking at, it's like seeing the dad, it's like going into a, it's like looking through the window of a damn shoe store. Like, yeah, damn, them shoes fly them up. I'm going in and get those. Imagine trying them on. Hey, like, yeah, these me. That's how they look at you. Then they, they, they were looking like, damn, yeah, shoot. They showed it. Hey, hit you with the egg. That little nasty little. Nasty, man. Freaky. Real freaky. That's how they be thinking in their head. Like, yeah, what you doing over here? Come on. I'm trying to reel you in. Come in. You come over there. Got the thighs out. They already got what they want on their head already. They already done did it. Right. Right? Because, but guess what, sister? If you would have had it on a dress, right? A man can't even think of you like that. He don't want, he wouldn't know how to come at you. Right? He wouldn't know how to come at you. See you in a hair wrap. You know what I'm saying? See you in a hair wrap. Fringes on. You know what I'm saying? Dress on floor. Nice little floral dress that's flowing. You know what I'm saying? He probably wouldn't even, he probably wouldn't even say nothing to you. He probably be like, how you doing, sister? Keep it walking. Open the door for you. Here you go, sister. You know what I'm saying? Hey, treat you like a what? A princess. Right. Royalty. Right. That's who you treat you like. Right? And, and let me ask you a question, brother. And we was up this joint, you know what I'm saying? And skirts and dresses and purses, you wouldn't even have to stop, would you? Hell nah. What type of, what type of side show is this? Right. What, of, what the hell is that? Call me. Oh, here you got, you got a damn lace front. Wrists all bent, back all jacked up. Start shaking the hand. You just start shaking the hand at us. These niggas are gay. <laughs> These niggas are bags, man. <laughs> you will get us a body here. But like, like, like you said, hey, women supposed to wear skirts and dresses. Men supposed to wear pants. Not thinking they'll polish your purses. And, and then have t-shirts like how these men be out here wearing. You know what I'm saying? So that's so that's two commandments right there. 
to not hate your brother and your heart, sister, you wear pants. What type of food job? Uh, excuse me, sister, you wear dresses. Excuse me, sisters are supposed to wear dresses and men supposed to wear pants. Excuse me, you know what I'm saying? Let me get you another uh, commandment. What type of food y'all eat? You eat pork? You eat everything. What you eat, sister? Basically everything. You eat everything. So would you call yourself a, uh, a human garbage disposal then? Hey, what's that? A human garbage disposal. Yeah, just go ahead, man. Oh, yeah, go ahead. This ain't for you. You're a freaky. Is that why? Look, look, look. Is that why? Look. Look. I'm wondering. Anyway. I'm gonna ask. I'm hey, gonna look. ask. Look at this. I'm gonna ask. Y'all eat any pork? So y'all eat pork, right? Look. Give me Leviticus chapter no 11 bullshit. and verse 7. I'm on the Leviticus. I'm legit. Chapter 11 and verse I'm 7. Israeli and the swine. Huh? Don't he divide the hoof? Do y'all know what swine is? What swine, sister? I'm swine. That's, huh? what That's what comes No, up. a swine. That's what happens? S W I N E. Let's talk about it. Huh? So, swine. You got a phone shit. on you? Come on, man. Right, right. Yeah. I'm yeah. dirty. You got, a phone, you got a phone on you? I'm a nudge. Look up swine. I'm nudge. Just, just like every motherfucker is telling me some shit. Right? I ain't shit. Well, she looking it up. She looking up what swine is. Look it up. Look it up. It's all good. I ain't swear, I ain't worried about that. S-W-I-N-E. Must be Swine. a white boy. Must be a white boy. Must be a white boy. Swine. Right? I'll say this. I mean, come on with you it. see it? Talk to him. What are we doing? When you find it, tell me what it is. Tell me what the first picture that like pop up. They don't like somebody that knows their shit. They don't like somebody talking about their shit that they know. Come on, son. You see Talk it? to me. Let me see. Oh, you got no service? It's, well, basically, it's a pig. The swine is a pig. Y'all oh, eat pork? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a pig. That's so, hey, look, the Lord said, that's read, pig. read that. That's a wild motherfucker. It says, and the swine, don't he divide the hoof? Don't he divide the hoof? And, and be cloven footed. Be cloven footed. Yeah, he chew it, not the cud. So he don't uh -huh. chew the cud. Meaning he don't right. probably digest his food. He just swallow it whole. That's he don't good. care what he that's eat. Good. He eat dookie. Right he eat doo doo. Right he eat his own babies. He eat dead bodies. He eat he eat dogs. He eat anything. Right? Bring it up. He is unclean to you. He is what? He is unclean to you. What is the pig? He is unclean to you. Beautiful woman. Of their flesh shall you not eat. And their carcass shall you not touch. You said the Lord says you can't eat a pig. You can't even touch a carcass of a pig. That's beautiful right there. You can't eat it. Can't touch it. You understand that, brother? Keep your argument. You understand that, sister? The Lord. That's another commandment. It's a dietary law. What type of fish you eat? What type of fish you eat? Tilapia. What type of fish you eat? Fish. What type of fish? Catfish. Shrimp. Shrimp. Crab. Lobster. Mussels. Clams. They eat all that. You don't eat that stuff? You know why? Because Jesus Christ told okay, me. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what the Lord says if you eat that come out the water. Because that's what you can't eat that come off the land. It has to have these two attributes that come off the land. It has to be able to probably digest the spoon and it has to be cloven footed. Right? Man, you can eat like a bull. Uh, you can eat like a, uh, a cow. You can eat uh, 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 a sheep. You can eat a uh, uh, goat. You can eat all of these other animals, but you can't eat a pig or a horse. You won't eat a dog. You won't eat a cat, would you? It's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? You eat a, would you eat a cat? No. Yeah, Why? Why would you? Why you know what I'm saying? Bring it up. I ain't busting. Says well, these. Now this is coming out of the waters. These shall you eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever have fins and scales uh -huh. in the waters. Whatsoever have what? Fins and scales. What does it have to have? Fins and, and scales. It has fins read? and scales that come out the water. What is that? What do you read? Fish. They got fins and scales, right? Fish, right? What do you read? Read. All that have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. All that have fins and scales in the waters and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. Get your ass back. What's up? Them shall ye eat. That's what you do? That's what you do? Them shall ye eat. That's what you do? Them shall ye eat. Read. 
It says, and all that have fins and scales, uh -huh. and the seas and the rivers, of all that move in the waters, uh -huh. and of any That's living thing just... which is in the waters, uh -huh. they shall be an abomination unto you. They shall be a what? They shall be an abomination unto you. What is, what is everything that come out of the water? They shall be an abomination unto you. The uh, Lord said, uh, anything that doesn't have fins and scales in the waters, right? And, uh, and in the rivers and in the seas, them shall ye, them shall you not eat. You can't, you can't eat anything that don't come out of the water that don't have fins and scales. So you can eat, like you said. You know, some people eat tilapia. Me personally, I don't. You can eat salmon. You can eat bass. You can eat trout. You can eat flounder and all these other things. But you can't eat all these other clean fish. But you can't eat no catfish. You can't eat no shark. You can't eat no stingray. You can't eat no whale. You can't eat these things. You know what I'm saying? Because those people do that. Right? You know what I'm saying? And they high rate. Right? So that's another commandment that the Israelites must keep. Right? Now, do y'all know, look at everybody's garment, right? Everybody, you see everybody, you see everybody's garment? Give me numbers 15 and 38. We're gonna keep letting the we're gonna keep letting the words of the Lord hey, flow. Right? Because every time somebody every time a brother or sister try to come and listen and hear and start to understand, he's gonna say Try to take away the word. Bring it out. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto who? Speak unto the children of Israel. Hey, who are the children of Israel? And you guys. You guys are literally Who's the children on of Israel? the fucking side of this about to say it, sister. If you don't Thank believe me, the so-called black people, us, us. we the children of Israel. You're all Read. Islam. You're all Islam. Speak unto the, the children of Israel. To the children of Israel. And beat them. And what? And beat them. Uh -huh. yes. That they make them fringes. That they, do what? That they make them fringes uh -huh. in the borders of their garments. That they make them what? That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So look, sister, brother, these are what you call fringes right here. You see this? This is what you call fringes. Right? These right here is fringes, sister. And you see this brother? You see this two brothers? These are what you call fringes. Right? Bring it up. It says, and that, so I can eat. So like, speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes. Bid them that they make them fringes. So, so the Most High God is telling ch the children of Israel, us, right, that we make fringes, right, in the border, in the borders of our garments. Read. Throughout their generation, aren't the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native American people still generating? Are we still having kids, having babies, making marriages? So yeah, he said throughout their generations, read, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. A what? A, a ribbon, ribbon of blue. A ribbon of purple. A ribbon of blue. Uh, green. A ribbon of blue. So on, so on. If you see on all these brothers' shirts, right? All these brother shirts. It says you can get a you can get a nice skirt with a t-shirt or a nice dress with a uh, with a uh, what's uh, a nice a nice little dress. You know what I'm saying? Something that's floral, floral, not nothing tight fitted, trying to show off your figure. You know what I'm saying? You know how all women get? They want to look in the mirror and see if they butt fat and all that other stuff. Nah, get a nice a nice little modest dress, put some fringes on it, and then guess what? It gotta be fringes, no matter what color. This brother got black. That brother got black. I got white. This brother got gold. That brother got got silver. He got black. It don't matter what kind of fringes, they, but they must have a ribbon of blue. Right. Right. Bring it up. It says, and ye shall, so like it shall be unto you for a friend, uh -huh. that you may look upon it. That you may what? You may look upon it uh -huh. and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. And do what? And do them. So look, these fringes is a physical reminder to keep God's commandments, right? To keep God's commandments, all right? This is what the fringes are about, right? You got, you got a point? So look, this this is what the this is what the uh, the fringes is for, right? You got a hey, it's a physical reminder to keep God's commandments, right? Can I ask y'all a question? You y'all smoke? Y'all smoke? Can God? Did God say y'all can smoke? Huh? Huh? You hearing God right now in His Word through the mouth of His prophets, right? Ye men of Israel, you know what I'm saying? The men of Israel, the, the prophets of the Lord, is out here hey, bringing out his word right now. You're hearing it right now. You're hearing the words of God. Bring it up. Look at Acts 7, 13 and verse 27. 
for they that dwell at Jerusalem uh -huh. and the rulers because they knew him not, uh -huh. nor yet. So he said, what is this brother? Because they knew him not. He said he knew him not. He didn't know God. He didn't hear his voice. Read. Nor yet the voices of the prophets uh -huh. which are read. Which are what? Which, which are, are read. read. What are we doing? Which are read uh -huh. every Sabbath day. That's what we're doing. Every Sabbath day we out here reading the words of the Lord. The out of the mouth of God. Right? You know what I'm saying? This is what we doing. This is what we're doing. Right? We're reading. Right? We're, we're reading the words of the most high God. Right? So this is the, so this is so, excuse me. So this is the words, so this is the, so this is the words of God, brother, that you just read through the mouth of the prophets. You're hearing the words of God right now, brother. You know what I'm saying? Through his word, right? You know what I'm saying? So like it said, can you, like I asked y'all a question. Do y'all do y'all smoke? Y'all smoke? Now that God say y'all can smoke. Did God say that? If you're in the book of Genesis, you hold that, hold that. The book of Genesis, okay, he got it already. Right. And verse number 29. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. Every what? Every herb bearing seed. What do they call weed? That's another word for weed. They call it the what? The herb. You know what I'm saying? They call it herb. Do you, huh? Let me ask you a question. Does that weed that y'all smoke have seeds in it? None of it that you get from these dispensaries out of that little nasty Ziploc pack, right? You know what I'm saying? The damn Obama runs the Kool-Aid, the whatever they calling it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I was coming up, they had it in Batman bags. You know what I'm saying? That's it. It's madness. It's madness, man. Right? Don't, it don't got no seats. Right, it's every herb bearing seed, read. Which is upon the face of all the earth, uh -huh. and every tree, and the which is the fruit of the tree, yielding seed. Yielding seed, they call it the tree, and this tree must be yielding seed, read. To you it shall be for meat. To smoke. To, to for meat. Spell it. M-E-A-T. Nah, smoke. Meat. Nah, roll it up. Meat. Nah. Put it in the, in the back of Meat. Put it in the paper. Meat. Put it in the hemp sheet. Meat. For meat. The weed. The uh the herb, you know what I'm saying? It, it has to be for me, right? Because if you read it's a, it's a passage in the holistic African uh, the African holistic health that said when you roll up weed and you smoke it, right? The chemicals and, and weed smoke, right? It turns into something that uh, that causes to, that can kill you. The chemicals in the weed when you roll it up and smoke it, it kills you. Right? But when you eat the weed, you eat it raw or drink it as a tea, it's meant to help you, right? But you're turning this something into something that's gonna kill you, man. Right? Give me that right quick. Wisdom of Solomon. It's the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16 and verse 12. Bring it out. Now start at verse, no, go to verse 1. Go to chapter 1. So like, go to chapter 1 right quick. Go to chapter 1. Chapter 1 and verse number 12. Wisdom of Solomon. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 12. Uh -huh. Seek not death in the era of your life. Hey, don't seek death in the era of your life, right? Because when you take that weed, you break it down with your hand. Look, I'm going to finish reading. Look at the words of the Lord speak. Seek not death in the era of your life. Seek not death in the era of your life, sister, brother. And pull not upon yourselves destruction with the work of your hand. Hey. So when you take that weed with your hand, you get that little dollar, break that weed down, or that little, or take it in the grinder. You grind it up with your hand. You get that little hemp sheet. You ball it up, pull it apart. You know what I'm saying? And you put that little weed up in there with your hand, right? You take that lighter with your hand, right? And you smoke it. You seeking death in the era of your life, right? People say, oh man, I'm dying. I smoke because I'm stressed. I smoke and do this because of this and that, right? You, you seeking death in the era of your life, right? You doing something that's gonna kill you, right? Cause you seeking death, right? When you take that weed and you roll it up and smoke, the chemicals turn into something that's gonna, that's gonna kill you. Bring it out. 16. Chapter 16, verse 12. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16 and verse 12. For it was neither herb, uh -huh. nor a mollifying plaster that restored them to health. But thy word. But thy what? But, but thy word. Nah, but the weed. But, but, but thy, thy word. word. Nah, but that wood. But, but thy word. word. Uh -huh. O Lord, which healeth all things. Hey, it's the word that heals you. Not weed. Not cigarettes. Not blacks. Not none of that stuff. That stuff don't. That stuff don't heal you. It's the word of the Lord that's going to heal you. That's going to restore you to health. In your mind. In your spirit. In your heart. Right? 
Not the weed, right? Not the weed, brother. Not the weed, sister, right? So let me ask you a question. You like your house dirty? Huh? You like your house dirty? Pizza boxes, roaches and down. You got green splattered against the damn wall. You know what I'm saying? You got down, you got damn grease all on your damn burners, right? Your daggone sink got down. Oh, uh, you got a stopped up sink with a ring around it. You know what I'm saying? Your damn tub. Your tub and your tub, don't get on your, your water ain't even on. You gotta take a bucket and pull it down the damn toilet. You know what I'm saying? Your toilet bowl brown in it. You got damn piss stains behind it. That little part that people don't like to clean. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got piss stains back there. Right. You want your house to look all like that? Then why have to do that to your temple? Right. Good question. Why do that to your temple? Let me ask you a question. If Christ told you he's going to come to your house and sit with you in three hours to have dinner with you, what y'all gonna do to it? What y'all gonna do to your house before you get there? You gonna clean that thing up. You gonna hurry up and get them together. You gonna get them, get, get, get them greens off the wall. You gonna clean, hey, you gonna be, hey, get the, get the Swiffer Duster, get the top of the dag on You gonna do that, you gonna clean up your house, right? So why do that to your house, right? Clean it out. The book of Revelation, chapter three and verse 20. Uh -huh. Behold, I stand at the door. The Lord is standing at the door right now. Read and knock. He do, what are you doing? And knock. Hey, what's up? If any man hear my voice uh -huh. and open the door, I will come into him. Say well, what? I will come uh -huh. into him uh -huh. and will sup with him and he with me. He talking about he knocking at your door right now. What's your name, sister? What's your name, brother? CJ. CJ, what's your name, sister? Imani. Huh? Imani. Imani. He knocking right now at the door. That gonna let him in? Y'all gonna let Christ in? Let's see. Bring this out. Let's see. Let's see if we're gonna let him in. Bring it out. It's the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, and verse 16. Uh -huh. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Yeah, what? That ye are the temple of God. What is a temple? Huh? Okay. Yeah, that's your, that's your temple in your heart. That's definitely a temple. But what is a temple on a physical level? What's a temple? Man. Your body. Your body is a temple, right? Something that's sacred, something that's supposed to be, uh, that's supposed to smell good, make you feel good about yourself, make you feel good. It's a temple, read. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. Hey, you are the temple of God. Y'all are the temple, read. And that the spirit of God and dwelleth, what? and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you, what? dwelleth in you. Uh -huh. If any man defile the temple of God, uh -huh. yeah. him shall God destroy. Let me ask y'all a question, y'all want God to destroy y'all? He at the door knocking right now, like, hey, I'm trying to get into my temple. What y'all ain't doing? Imani, CJ. You know what I'm saying? He gonna come in there. You think Christ, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the spirit of your house shine, who, who people even call Christ, gonna come in your house? Like, and roll one up with what the, the hell is ashes in your ashtray, <laughs> weed in your grinding. What, what is that? Draws on the ceiling fan. What the? It's stinking. It's my like pee. What the? Stain in your carpet is that? You got a cat. You got a cat doodle because you ain't getting no litter. The cat doodle stink if ain't got no litter. You got pee stains in the damn bed. Got the damn pee stain in the sweat stain. Sheets brown. You got they supposed to be white sheets, but them trains turn to cream. <laughs> got them trains coffee stain. Right? You think Christ gonna be like he gonna, he gonna be there, he gonna be there, he gonna kick back on the TV. He gonna kick he gonna kick back, put his feet, hey come, put his feet on your dag on, on your dag on coffee table and say what's on Netflix to watch. Got flies and you got a school of net that's just sitting in one spot of the corner. You think he gonna come down uh, you, you think he wanna come and dwell in that temple? Cause look sister. You destroy your temple, brother. When y'all destroy your temple with that weed, putting cigarettes, putting smoke in it, right? You destroying the temple of God. Because you are the temple. You is temple. He dwell in you. So why destroy yourself? Why I want why 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 do y'all want to get destroyed by God? Alright? See that? All praise to the most high. Why do y'all want to destroy yourself? 
right? She said, like, hey, I'm for sure. Y'all gonna y'all gonna go into a burning building with smoke everywhere and do one of these? Y'all gonna do that? Cause what's gonna happen? You gonna die? You gonna choke? You gotta throw that away. If you don't, if you you love God, sister, you love God, brother. Because you're hearing God right now. And God is trying to show you his love. He's trying to come in and suck with you. I mean, sit down and eat. Sit down and talk. Son, he's trying to give you some wisdom. Right? If, that, if you love God, sister Amani, you'll throw that thing down. That's money. That's money. What's going to happen to you? What's going to happen to this money? Who face on that money? Right. You think God give a damn about some damn money? God don't care about no damn money. Uh-huh. Right? He don't care about no money that got his enemies, his enemies' face on it. Right. He don't care about no damn money. Bring it out. It's the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 10. Uh-huh. For the love of money. For the what? For the love of money. For the love of God. For the love of money is the what? Is the root of all evil. And you know the precept, sister. You mouth in it. <laughs> For the love of money is the root of all evil, read. Con. Which while some coveted after, coveted, right, read. They have erred from the faith. They what? They have erred from the faith. Because what? And pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Yeah, brother, you talk about something that's money. You love money, right? So that means you'll do anything for some money. How much money? How much money? How much money? <laughs> How, much money? <laughs> How much money? How much was that? Duh. A dub? You worry about a dub? You worry about twenty dollars? But you about to go and spend on some damn food? Don't you probably about to buy you something to eat. Probably buy her something to eat. That's twenty dollars right there. This place like ten dollars, right? Fifteen. Like go out. Like, you go out, shit. Hey, you might have to. Hey, you might go somewhere. Later. You might have to pay to get in. That's sixty dollars. Worry about a damn dub. Worry about a damn a J. A a point eight. Not even a whole grand, he got a point eight. Play for Nestor. You thought you got a three five, he got a three grams. <laughs> he saved an extra five for himself to go and do some more wickedness. Skim you. He got that, he got that jank, and he got that janky bitch. You know what I'm saying? That joint, that joint ain't level or none of that. And show you three five when he really know what it is, three grams. He know that joint always take a point five off of it. He know that. So sister, if you love God, brother, if you love God, you'll throw that thing down. Do you all love God? Do you love God, sister? I love him dearly. You love him dearly, right? Bring it out. Let's see. It's the book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Huh? For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. Now that we keep the following our temple. That we keep his commandments. Now we keep and we keep smoking the herb instead of eating it. That we keep his commandments. Now that we keep the following our temple. That we keep his commandments. That we let the spirit of Christ keep on uh, Yahweh Shai keep on knocking. That we keep his commandments. Uh -huh. And his commandments are not grievous. His commandments is not hard. It's not hard. Brother, sister, it's not hard. Because if you really love God, right, you would throw that thing down. You love your mother, right? You love your father, right? You love your mother and your father. How you show them that? By doing what they say. They ain't going to tell your mother, your mother, take, take out that chicken. You're like, girl, psh, bye. Wow. Get out of my face. I check it out. You better, I'll buy some chicken. You take it out. You take out the chicken. You step and you step to your mother like that. You step to your father like that. You step well, you step into the Lord like that now. Right. And the Lord said, hey, you destroy your temple, he's gonna kill you. So the next time you get some weed, it could be something that could take you up out of here. Yep. Fitting on. Late. Brooke in it, Molly in it. So if you love God, sister, you love God, brother. That's why you watch what you're doing. Watch what you're doing. You watching yourself kill yourself. People watch themselves in the mirror to take a dag on nine a, a, a Smith and Western revolver and put it to their head in the mirror and say F life and just shoot themselves. 
to look what you're doing every day. You keep putting that deck. It's like it's like it's like playing reverse rush roulette. Instead of being one bullet, it start out with no bullets. You click. Then every time you click, you put one more bullet in there. You click. You keep clicking. You keep clicking till you got a full clip, and then guess what's gonna happen? Boom! You're gonna hit yourself. You dead. You don't keep smoking until you die. I remember I used to smoke cigarettes and Edda told me, guess what, my favorite pack was cool menthols. He said, guess what, your body gonna end up on that flat table, you're gonna be cool, just like them cigarettes you smoke. So if you love God, sister, don't be cool. Put that thing down. You're stronger than that. You stronger than that. You better than that, King. Right. You better than that, CJ. You only fit in. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's for the most high, man. It's for the Lord, the one that loves you. And you show him, F him. That's what you're saying. And sister, your reluctancy is showing him the same thing. That you say, I love him so much. That's not showing that. Now you showing him that way. Now you showing him that way, too. <laughs> We're going to be the bigger person. Hey, see that? Hey, it's but. Step forward. Hey, well, let's see. Let's see how you can keep stepping. How you can take a bigger step. But give all, give all honor and glory to your how about shit me how shy. Don't go nowhere. Because the brother, next brother is going to come up. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to show you how to take that major step. He's going to show you how to get to where you need to be going. Right? Because this is what these prophets, this is what the prophets is out here for, man. Give all honor and glory to your how by shit me my shit with my shy. Come your shy. Shalom. Overcame Babylon, we Israel, now we gird it up Ever since we came into the truth, we got our birdies up Eat this Mac, think you funny, watch how it'll burn you up I live three miles down, by the Sabbath journey up Esau see us coming up, just watch how we just turn him up In the kingdom, keep the law, we gon' have him double dutch Occupy till I come, go ahead and eat this honey up Anytime I see a blood moon, it got me jumping up Esau doing coke, yeah, now he fanny up I done got my spirit up, now let's just see what's up